Hello everyone, Chuck, Northside Guy. Today I'm going to feature two Hall of Famers appearing in the 1933 Gaudi set. First up is Dizzy Dean in a PSA 5.5. Um, I should note that both players I'm featuring today have major league records that are still unsurpassed. In the case of Dizzy Dean, he is the last National League pitcher to win 30 games in a season. Elected into the Hall of Fame in 1953, uh, we remember Dizzy Dean really for his eccentric behavior and his participation uh, and, and key role as a member of the famous Gas House Gang uh, of 1934 St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, he was on that team with such colorful colleagues by the name of Daffy and Dazzy and Ducky. And this team uh, at the time was one of the westernmost, was the westernmost Major League Baseball team and southernmost team. So it became a kind of a de facto America's team for uh, much of the South in the, the Depression era. Uh, his record of 30 and 7, 30 wins and 7 losses in 1934 uh, with a 2.66 ERA was just part of the story. Uh, he was the strikeout leader that year, World Series champion that year, All-Star that year, MVP that year, and with his brothers, he backed up a boast uh, when he said, me and Paul, his brother, uh, are going to win 45 games. Uh, and sure enough, they did. In fact, they, they had 49 wins. And that brings us around to a famous saying that... Uh, is repeated in different formats, but essentially is if you done if you done it, it ain't bragging. And uh, I remember my father telling me that line as well. So don't brag, but it ain't bragging if it's the truth. Uh, later in his career, Dean moved on and became a uh, very colorful and well loved broadcaster, uh, calling games for the Cardinals, the Browns, the Yankees, Braves, and uh, uh, later on in life, uh, he was involved in a lot of ventures uh, down in Mississippi, uh, where he ultimately died of a heart attack. So first up here has been Dizzy Dean. Beautiful card. Uh, it's 5.5, uh, but if you'll note, I don't really think it's that well centered, but it's a beautiful specimen. Uh, love it. And I want you to look at this card and now look at the next one, which is Hack Wilson, our next Hall of Famer in a PSA 5. Now, Hack Wilson has another record. Uh, he had, uh, um, <clears throat> he still holds uh, the record for 191 uh, uh, RBIs, uh, a record that uh, still stands. And his 1930 season with the Cubs is one of the most memorable individual si single season uh, hitting performances in uh, baseball history. In fact, Hack uh, famously played for the Cubs. Uh, from 1926 to 1931, he was a, a, a little tank of a guy. He was five foot six, weighing 195 pounds, 18 inch neck. And uh, one sports writer of the day said he was built along the lines of a beer keg, and was not wholly unfamiliar with its contents. Uh, large head, tiny feet, short legs, broad, flat face. Um, you kind of see that in this card. I think it's kind of creepy almost, the little feet. Uh, in fact, these are the hallmarks of, of somebody afflicted with fetal alcohol syndrome, and his parents were uh, heavy drinkers who had died young. Uh, Hack led the National League in 1926, 27, and 28 in home runs. Uh, he um, uh, was also a very combative player, um, would get into fights with uh, opposing players and fans. Um, ultimately, his drinking and partying uh, didn't uh, endear him to William Wrigley and slowly began uh, creeping into his performance. After the successes he had in the late 1920s and, and, and building up to the 1930 season, uh, he arrived in 1931 20 pounds overweight and began a descent um, out of baseball and into a series of jobs where he was a laborer for the city of Baltimore. He was a bartender near Evans Field. And he died young uh, after a fall and some uh, pneumonia. 
uh, at the age of 48. So a tragic end to one of uh, the game's most powerful hitters, a classic card in front of you uh, in, a, in a classic set. Take care, everyone.